I thought if you take care of the bigger things, the smaller things will fall into place on its own. But later I realized if you take care of the smaller things, the bigger things will fall in place. What's up boys and girls, I'm Nikhil. So in this video, we'll talk about the do's and don'ts and I'll keep this video short. So now let's assume that you have exam on Feb 23. Now if I was in your case, what I would be doing is that I'll study whatever I know till Feb 20. On Feb 21 and Feb 22 will be solely dedicated for revision. No new topics will be started on those days. On Feb 21, I'll revise both my mathematics and physics and on Feb 22, I'll revise my chemistry. So mathematics and physics will just be formula revision. Chemistry in physical also, it will be just formula revision and in inorganic and organic, I'll just go through my NCRT. So the reason I kept chemistry on Feb 22 is because chemistry is subject everyone easily forgets. I'll study it on the last day so that it will still retain in my mind during my exam. On the day before your exam, I would recommend that you study only up to 8 p.m. in the night. After that, please don't study anything and also on the day of your exam, don't study anything just to keep your mind calm. I would also recommend you not to use your phone on the day before your exam. Phone in the sense like WhatsApp, Instagram, all those stuff. And when you're going to your exam hall, go to your exam hall with your parents and not your friends. I've already discussed this. And don't start talking to people in your exam hall before writing your exam. Talk to them after writing your exam. Same reason for this also I've explained. Write your exam in the full screen mode and do not look at the timer very often because it'll make you anxious. You have to look at the timer, but don't look at it very often. It'll make you a little anxious. And most importantly, prepare your mindset to I will answer whatever I know rather than 45 to 50 questions. Try and be prepared for the worst possible case. If your exam is not on the first day of BTEC exam, that is if your exam is on 24th or 25th, thing is that in YouTube, they will already post the question papers of 23rd. The two shifts will be posted. So just see this question, solve those questions. Okay. The guest paper will actually be posted. I thought if you take care of the bigger things, the smaller things will fall into place on its own. But later I realized if you take care of the smaller things, the bigger things will fall in place. These are my suggestions and these are exactly what I did. Follow them and tell me whether it works out for you or not. Thank you for watching.